Hi there, welcome to Survivor Geek again. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Cold Steel Bushman. This is one of my favorite survival knives. It's a little bit bigger than your standard survival knife. It's got a 7 inch blade and most people recommend survival knives uh, be about 4 inches to 6 inches. But uh, I don't think it's overly long and it's such a functional knife. I just, I, I really love it. Uh, the first great thing about um, all Cold Steel blades is that they come just very, very sharp. They know how to put an edge on these things. They really do. So as you're handling this knife, be very, very careful because it's going to have a very, very sharp edge right out of the box. I actually, uh, when I first got this, I took it out and was cutting little saplings. And it was only one, one swack and they just came right apart. So anyway, great knife. Uh, the other thing that I love about this knife in particular is that they have managed to give a full tang knife a hollow handle. And I absolutely love this because it just adds incredibly to the utility of the knife. Um, it gives you a little bit more storage space. But if you plug up the ends, you can, you can put little items in there for easier carry. Um, it allows you to put in a stick or an extra long handle of some kind. You can throw this as a spear with that. You can use the extended handle to, to help you chop wood a little bit better or other things like that. Um, so it it's just adds a bunch of versatility to the knife. Um, but it's a great knife, just even as it is. Um, one thing that I found was a little bit lacking is the handle. I, I like to have a little bit more grip on a knife, and so I looked up some ways and I found out that you can actually wrap paracord around this, and it actually makes a very, very beautiful weave and just gives it that better grip, and which just makes it pretty much the perfect survival knife. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that weave real quick. And uh, we are going to, if you, if you get the knife from us, we're going to go ahead and include a 12 foot length of, of paracord with every knife for you so that you can wrap your handle like this and you can follow these instructions. So, the first thing is you've got to have the cord coming out from the top here. Um, you can either just slide the length through and have it just uh, loosely hanging out, out the bottom and just hold it tight with something while you, while you do your weave. What I actually did is I actually put a Chinese ball knot on the end, a really big fat knot there, and that does two things. Number one, it holds the paracord tight for me while I'm doing my weave, and the other thing it does is it plugs that top hole there so that all I need to do is plug the bottom hole and I've got some little storage space in there. So that's the way I did it. So the first step, <clears throat> once you have the rope coming out of your hole here, is you go ahead and just wrap that behind the handle and have it coming out the front here. What you want to do is you want to make a little bit of a loop with it, with the remainder of the cord on the bottom of the loop. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come out the other side, and you're going to make another loop and just pass it right through there, like so. And now, and that's all there is to it. That's just the pattern that you're going to follow is now that you have another loop, and you're going to pass the cord down the other side and put a loop through that loop. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a very simple weave, um, but it makes it look really good. Now couple of tricks with this. Number one, don't cut off your finger because it's a very sharp knife, like I said, so be very careful with that. Um, as you're going on this, you're going to want to pull these very tight because otherwise it could end up slipping over the metal there and that just makes the grip even worse instead of improving the grip. So as you go here, you're going to want to pull on the top part of, of your loop there to tighten the loop behind it. And I actually recommend having a pair of pliers on hand to make sure that you can get that really, really tight. Because the tighter you get that, the less slippage you'll have and the safer your handle will be. And the prettier it'll look too. So and just make sure that you have this always on the bottom part of that loop. All right, so <clears throat> this does take a little bit of time, but in the end, it'll give you a really great grip and then you're carrying some extra paracord and it just makes, just makes this knife way better which it's a great knife to begin with, but great improvement. So here we go.
So this is the pattern you should be having here, just along the front. Kind of gives you that grip there, and it should be tight enough so it doesn't, It should. I mean, it might slide a little bit, but it shouldn't do that too much. Um, it shouldn't be too loose. You want to keep it really tight, and if you, as you've seen, I've been just pulling on it with these, uh, these pliers here, just to try and keep it as tight as you can. It'll be hard, but it'll be worth it. So, and then just uh, keep the cord might twist a little bit here. You know, we get kind of a funky look there, but it shouldn't affect the overall um, weave and everything as long as you keep pulling it tight. Uh, you don't need to go all the way to the bottom, just a little bit of space there. What you do is then you put this through here, but instead of just making another loop, just pull it all the way through, and then just pull that down tight. And uh, there you go, and then you've got a little tail sticking off there. And that's the end of it. And you might want to tie another knot there, just to you know make sure it doesn't slip out at all another simple overhand knot just to keep it from sliding out at all. There you go. Now you have an awesome survival knife, very comfortable uh, grip on it that will hold very nice and if you've done your job right you shouldn't be feeling any wiggling at all and you're ready to go. Just remember, you can get these at our website, survivorgeek.com, and we'll include the paracord. And uh, you can check out a lot of our other cool and innovative outdoor products there.